just the back and forth momentum oh. swap. That there's a big rock. Here comes Romero, oh. but a pull counter. There Bang! we go. We have there it a is. champion, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, y'all, we got UFC 307. Of course, if you guys have seen the community notes, I do have my own fight November 1st, so you guys should definitely be tuned into that. Now, Jose Aldo, one of my favorite fighters of all time, is fighting this weekend, taking on another tough up-and-comer against the man right here that we're facing off against, Mario Bartista, who's been on a nice tear, but so is Jonathan Martinez. The only thing is that this fight is at altitude, which could affect both of them. You know, Aldo, despite being at altitude, was still able to defend the likes of Marab's takedowns. Wasn't able to get as much offense as he would have liked to get off. But for the fight against uh, Martin with uh, Bautista, excuse me, who, coincidentally enough, he got added ooh, around the same time as Jonathan Martinez. I think that they both got added at the same time. So Aldo, what well, he did extremely well against Jonathan Martinez was neutralizing the kicks, right? The same kicks that we saw finish the likes of Adrian Giannis, a fan favorite who a lot of people have been asking to get added to UFC 5, which I am vouching for. Please believe me, I'm vouching for Adrian Giannis. I want y'all to make it very well known that y'all want Adrian Giannis. As much as I want Aldo to get a nice victory. There we go, left hook lands. And that left hook at Bantamweight. Aldo already has like good thumping power. He's dropped a lot of featherweights in his career, but at Bantamweight, that left hook of his has stunned plenty. He was able to drop uh, Ralph Font with it a couple times. Ooh. Stunned uh, Jonathan Martinez in the third round before getting a very, very clutch takedown. And his boxing looks clean. And it's, it's almost like he defies <laughs> regular logic. Uh, when a fighter gets old, right, they're, they're supposed to start going on this, like, decline. But although he's still beating top-ranked, opposition younger than him at this stage of his career which is just i i aspire to have that type of longevity in my own career my it's not too dissimilar from jordan burroughs in wrestling for those of y'all that follow wrestling jordan burroughs is another dude the goat in my personal opinion as we take out mario batista in round one i don't know if Aldo's going to finish. I'd say there's just a good chance it's going to go to a very, very dominant decision. But if Aldo were to finish him, that would be great. I would love for that. I don't think he has a finish yet in Bantamweight. He has pretty clear-cut decision wins. He did get finished by Peter Jan. And every other fight has pretty much gone to a decision. So, if he were to get a finish over Mario Bautista, I'd be a very, very happy man. But we're going to kick this off with a signature flying knee for Jose Aldo. I think with Jose Aldo, he said that if he were to defeat Mario Bautista, he would like to fight Sean O'Malley. And that is a great call out, especially because Mario Bautista is the teammate of Sean O'Malley. For those of y'all who don't know, O'Malley just lost the belt. And that would make for a very fun affair. You can see a good style matchup. Flying knee lands. Ooh, nice evasive maneuver from O'Malley. As we speak about Aldo and his longevity, not a lot of fighters would be taking the risks that he does. Let's see if we can get that signature uh, pivot lunge. Oh, no. Nope. Well, not really signature to him, but more so that he was the one where like uh, the animation was taken from. There's like a cool clip of him versus Jonathan Martinez where he... Uh, Pivot lunges. There it is. After uh, Martinez goes for a spinning back fist. It's one of my favorite uh, maneuvers in the game, defensively speaking. It's a really, really good defensive tool. And if you can time it just right, do that, you get a nice angle. Which, speaking of angles, I hear Undisputed is coming out, but I am not getting that game. Unless it is purchased for me, because I'm a person that sticks by my word. I said I ain't buying it unless somebody else gets it for me. There we go. That movement. Sean is trading a little bit too hard with Aldo, which is going well for us. Surprised to check. Some of my movement going. This is not very Sean like of this player. Go ahead, movement. Head movement. Ooh. 
There it is. Dude, that... <laughs> I love hitting that shit. Oh, I don't like getting hit with that, though. He double hooks. We're going to block out of that. Don't worry. He goes for that shit again. There you go. Lunge. Go for it again. Go for it again. Go for it again. I got a block counter for you. Come on. Come on. You know you want to. Let loose, let loose a four piece. Nope. He's not going to go for it again when I need him to. Nope. Come on. There we go. Hello. <laughs> I love those I love those boxing combinations. I wish we could hit to the body here. I miss being able to hit to the body. I don't know why they they don't allow us to do that anymore. He has a tendency of removing stuff and then adding it later and then saying it's a new feature. That should never have been removed. Attacking the body in the stat guard, that's something that we need. We need that. But really good first round. Got to showcase a couple good defensive tools of Jose Aldo. And I swear, ah, man. One thing I didn't like. Now, I talk about a lot with fighters, like, you know, that their attributes can carry them. Like, Jonathan Martinez lost all three rounds against Jose Aldo. But what was irking me is, like, the, all, the ego of Jose Aldo, where... When his opponent starts to like be like fuck it and let's bang and then he decides to say fuck it let's go. That's where he can get into some trouble because he, he's old. Oh, he quit. Oh, that man threw his PS5 out the window. All right. And Jose Aldo now at this point in his career he definitely would fight Peyton Talbot right now. He'd say fucking fight him. Anything now to get him closer to title shot. Let's see how this guy fights. There's a mistake that a lot of players make with uh, Peyton Talbot where they uh, try to hang on the outside. That's not how he fights at all. He is a pressure fighter. He's somebody that disregards a lot of defensive things. He's not this outside fighter. He can fight well on the outside. Ooh. But he's not this outside fighter that a lot of people try to make him be. I think they just assume, hey, this is a tall guy with curly hair. We got to fight... Use him like we were using Sean O'Malley. Nice. Uh oh. Hmm. Hmm. I like what I see. I want to slow you down a little bit. I want to slow you down a little bit. Ah, there you go. One. Two. Should we get some grappling going? Nah. There we go. We read that counter hook. We read that counter hook. Let's see if you can try to land it. There we go. Uh huh. You get too eager. You get too eager. Ah, oh. Little feints. Little rear feints. Not Josie Aldo showcase about that. Okay. Hey, you, uh, hey, you, you all. You all play that game. Ah. Ah. Okay. Come on. Let's go kick for kick. Let's go bean for bean. Come on. Oh. Oh, we thought I'd touch you again. Mm-hmm. Boom, calf kick. Switch it up on you. Oh, okay. I like that. I like that, Peyton. Oh, you're playing a dangerous game, Peyton. This is not how you're supposed to be you. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Eat those. Another thing that Aldo has done pretty well too is utilizing the clinch where he goes. He lands like a nice little uh, clinch knee in those brief collisions. Something I gotta start doing a little bit more myself. With the grapplers, a little bit easier because you can just kind of threaten to take down. I mean, you can keep kicking my leg, it's not gonna help you. Like I said, you trying to out leg kick the leg kick goat. You trying to outlet kick the leg kick goat? Oh lord! Oh my lord! Defend your legs! Oh my god, Peyton! Not like this! Oh his legs! His legs! Something tell me he gonna kick with that bad leg. 
He gonna kick with that bad leg. I know it. Don't do it. He did. He did. Don't do it. Don't do it. A little jab after the bell. It sucks that, um, completely, I guess it's not really off topic because we're fighting his paint tower, but the fact that he's a four and a half star, he really shouldn't be. I don't know why his rating got randomly adjusted to four and a half star when it really shouldn't be. He's a four star through and through. Makes it, uh, you know, he went from being used a lot to people going, well, well why am I going to use him if I have Shauna as a four and a half star? You feel me? All right. Now we play the role of the neutralizer. Look at this guy. I think another thing all of does well is that when somebody kicks him, he he gives a reason to discourage the person from uh, throwing the kicks. Whether it's intercepting right after they kick him, right? If he blocks the kick, he'll land across. Bro, Aldo has steel checks. That's why I said <laughs> you should not be trying to kick all those legs. Let's see. We'll, we'll play the role of the neutralizer. We'll slow it down a little bit. We're getting, we're getting them finishes. Come on. Come on, Peyton. Show me something, Peyton. Show me something. Oh, my lord. Oh, no shame. Nah, I did. Oh, man. Oh, my lord. Oh, Lord have mercy. Herb. Oh. Herb, what are you watching, Herb? Herb. Herb. Save this curly-haired man from himself, please. Save him. Herb. Herb. You just watch this man get massacred. Oh, Herb. It's all Herb being fault. Dear Lord Almighty. Can y'all tell I like using Jose Aldo on UFC 5? All right, we'll do one more. See, I want to get a prime cruise of the one the one that beat TJ Dillashaw by a split decision. Oh! See, I think even Mario Bautista had said it, where he was surprised that uh, Aldo was taking all these fights against these uh, younger fighters because, hello, you know, he could be searching for, like, legend fights and stuff like that, where he only fights, you know, other future Hall of Famers like this man right here, Dominic Cruz. I don't think that fight would end well for Cruz, respectfully speaking. But that's what just that's just who Jose Aldo is. That man loves all the challenges. Nice. Nice. That backs up that. Boom. Boom. You got chop the legs. Chop them bad ankles. Lots of false starts. I love that idea. You see how like it shakes the shoulder? It's like a little taunt. <laughs> like you don't even need to uh, do anything. It's just you just kind of chill and you're out of range and that idle plays out. It's a smooth idle. I like this. I like this. Showcase the clean boxing. I gotta move so much with all though. Mm. Ooh. Oh ho ho. Nice. Dom. You playing with fire, Dom. You playing with fire. You playing with fire, Dom. You stayed way too long in the pocket. Ain't you learn with going with Garbrandt? You can't stay in that pocket for too long. That's why you be moving so much. Move out the way. Smooth work. Woo! Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Circle back. Mmm, Dutchy. No, sir. Dom. Dom. Dom, not like this, Dom. That's not you. This ain't you, Dom. I don't feel like keeping him here forever. I will go for one. Oh, okay. I will go for one. Oh. Why not? 
Why not? Show a little bit of that world champion jujitsu. Why not? Let's see. Ah, oh, look at that. He had enough. He had enough. Good job. Good job, Dom. Good job. Them two, man, those two takedown denials really kicked the stamina. Well, on top of all the body kicks and everything else that we have. Oh, this is something they got to change. Yo, EA, why is <laughs> Cruz's corner talking to him in Portuguese? That that happens with a lot of fighters. Even with a lot of, like, the Russian fighters. You get, like, the corner talking in Portuguese. Yeah, Herb, we're ready. Okay. Probably get a takedown counter. Hmm. I time it just right. Just take down counters are really hard to time. I've gotten the sub counters. I don't know why the sub counters seem to be a little bit easier. Nice. Yeah, you gonna feel that leg kick. He's trying so hard to, to use all those movements, but he's not really timing it well. Oh, nice. He made, I see that, and he makes me with a bad shot. But them, them level five body moves. So do work on your stamina. Mmm. Too much, young man. Ooh, you check that one. Mm. We let that, we let that hook go. We let that hook go. Hook. Ha! 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 Add the counter there. We'll go full mount. If he tries to get up, oh, he's kind of cooked. I ain't gonna hold you. Go here. God damn! Look how much body damage that shit's doing. Oh lord, Cruz. Props to him. Short time, short time. Let's see if we can get a round three finish. I don't want to finish him right now. I mean, we could. We could, in theory. Stuck that one through. This is brutal. This, this is a 10-7 round if you've ever seen one. I don't want to finish him with a sub. Yo! <laughs> hey, props to him. Respect. Respect. We're ahead because of our fight. Not, surely not the, the shots that uh, dropped him. Surely not that. Good fight? You know what? I'll take a good fight, too. That flying knee kicks off everything. You get a beautiful knockdown because of those body hooks. Look at that flying knee. Boom. That animation where like it skips up. It really sells that flying knee really, really well. All right. How are we going to finish him? We can, go, we can go body hook. I think we can finish him with some body hooks. Oh, yeah. Nice cook. Oh, my little block counter. Yeah, it's up. Jose Aldo, everybody. You're not going to see nobody else use Jose Aldo the way I do. 
And that's just facts. Mirror 17, I appreciate y'all. Much love. Take care. Enjoy UFC 307. I think we'll upload Khalil Roundtree later tonight. I'm out of here.